Mustang crew and the Street Parade. Street parade. It's Thursday night before qualifying tomorrow, and uh, what a way to kick off Formula Trail. How are you, man? You good? Yeah, no problem. They change them every morning before we go. They got the Type S LEDs under it working now as well and a lot of all the small finishing touches. So it's looking sweet. Yeah, Chelsea's ready to go. Adam's ready to go. So big day for the team, but I'm super excited. It's time to jump in the race suit now and uh, we got a 7.30 a.m. driver's meeting and then straight into practice. So, first day back in FD, it's been a while, nervous but excited, so ready to give it our best and uh, see how we do. We're just after our first session of practice. It hasn't been the best this morning, but you know, we still got two sessions left before qualifying. Uh, basically, there was a, an issue where the nitrous wasn't working, so we're way down in power. On my first lap, it uh, washed out wide and uh, I tagged the wall. And coming through the bridge, it just it was I was clutch kicking the life out of the car to try to get it to come on. And on the second lap, the nitrous still wasn't working, so I just ran it in third gear instead of in fourth gear. So now we're after making a gear ratio change where it should be able to work if we have nitrous and if we don't have nitrous. So uh, I just want to get some laps in to be comfortable before qualifying today. And uh, yeah, hopefully it goes well. So let's see what happens. Side. I'm staying out of the car today because as you can see I'm a bit burnt. It's my first time in the US and seeing the sunshine in quite a few months so I'm just gonna stay in the car as much as I can and uh, yeah it's quite a busy day so we had our autograph session after a second practice. Uh, we had no nitrous all morning but now it's working so I got two runs with the nitrous working. We're gonna get one more run before qualifying. I had one run chasing Rome that went pretty good uh, for our first chase in this car ever. Um, so yeah, every lap feeling more comfortable 
and uh, just getting the feel of it. So let's fire her up, do our last run of practice, and then we go straight into qualifying. So hopefully there's luck on our side today, but so far so good. She is loud. on a strong note um, had a lead run with Ryan Turk and it was my best lead run of the of the weekend on this track and in this car so great way to finish practice uh, now I'm the second car to go in qualifying so not much time to uh, to get my thoughts or get out or do much so still in the car and uh, we're ready to do this run and hopefully it goes to plan and we can do another strong lead run so Learning a lot and uh, hopefully it counts when we need to push hard. So let's hope for the best. The support online has been unbelievable too, by the way. Uh, thank you to everyone back home, family and friends, everyone getting in touch. Like I really appreciate it. It's hard to, uh, it's hard to keep up with everything. Um, and the same with the fans that have been messaging me and wishing me luck, it's, it's brilliant. But there just isn't time to uh, stay in touch with everything. But after the weekend, we'll be able to uh, catch up and everything. But I'm super happy and I'm really starting to feel more comfortable and uh, yeah, let's hope for a good one here. Look at this, James Dean is in the building. The machine, the tall drink of water is back and he is behind an absolute weapon, man. This Mustang RTR Spec 5D. Then when we get to tandem, you'll see another module for the chase driver, but this will be a good indication of what is going on physically with these vehicles as they drive this course. Here we go, James Dean initiates. First time ever in RTR competing. Ford Mustang, nice job of the AutoZone RTR Spec 5 FD. Into that third outside zone, bringing it on in. Again, the three-time champion from Ireland is back on American soil. And wow, what an entrance. Well done by James Dean on his maiden voyage. We just finished qualifying and uh, it went a lot better than I expected. Personally for me, I felt our last run in practice was a little bit better. Uh, but in general, I have to be really happy with how it went. Uh, we managed to get 92.6 points, uh, put us in second place. Chelsea had 92 as well. Yeah, I didn't believe that we could uh, maybe do it this morning, just with a few issues we were having in practice, but it started to come together at the end of practice. Felt a lot more comfortable with the car when the night was working. And uh, yeah, we're back in FD, P2. Hard to believe, brand new team. So huge thanks to the whole RGR team. They've been working so hard all weekend and leading up to this event. Uh, to make sure we all had uh, great cars and uh, um, learning lap by lap. So tomorrow is a new thing, tandem. I managed to get one tandem run today with um, Rome and he was really smooth to follow. So I'm looking forward to sleeping on what we learned today. Come in tomorrow and try to chase hard and see where we end up. But very happy with the day and uh, yeah, good time. <laughs> Just finished practice, uh, everything went pretty well. We, uh, we had a nitrous issue in the first run when we were chasing uh, Chris Forsberg, so got that sorted for the second. And uh, we also tried some new electric power steering fluid. Uh, it didn't feel amazing, so we went back to what we were using yesterday. But in general, very good. We had uh, a couple of chases, chased Chelsea and chased Thiago Higa. 
and uh, that went well. So finished on a strong chase run, which I was very happy with. Um, the clutch gave a little bit of a slip, so they're just making an adjustment, double checking everything that it's all good. And uh, yeah, we have a buyer run in top 32, which we don't have to make. Uh, they're not running the buyer run, so we're straight into top 16 and uh, excited to uh, hopefully have a good run. The opening ceremony is just starting. This place is so busy. It's crazy. Like, unbelievable. Uh, super excited. We're battling Stuki first. Really looking forward to it. He's doing a great job. So it's going to be a tough battle, but we'll give it our best. Uh, let's have some fun. Transitioning in, oh my gosh. I'm just flabbergasted by James D coming back. Gets behind, it's a right hand drive Ford Mustang, never been done before. on Stuckey right now. He needs to run a pretty high quality lead run, so he needs to get wide everywhere, maintain that momentum through the course, and get tight to that inside clip. All right, here we go. Daniel Stuckey out front. MSpec performance S15. Nice, aggressive flick. James Dean. He's right there. Oh, he does not get out there to the outside zone. James taking that mid-line. Look at now James. He's got the good proximity. How's he going to handle it right here? James coming in on the inside. He's at the door. He's fighting back. Look at this. RTR into that first outside zone, taps the bumper one. Does not get outside zone two, but really well done still. Suki right there on the nose, does exceed the front of James Dean, but James, massive angle there. That flick rolling into the, out, in, into the inside clip. into the green eight. Let's see what we got. Stuckey, what do you got for James Dean? Daniel Stuckey initiates. Comes in a view of the judges. Gets out to that first outside zone. In the second outside zone, remember, James is only his second time chasing in this Mustang RTR, but he is applying the pressure, coming in at last. Outside, inside, boom. So hit that touch and go. Told you, that was a great lead run by Stuckey. But again, second time ever James Dean chasing in this Mustang RTR.
but he's got to step it up. Yeah. I mean, like I said, he's not, he's not driving like I've seen Freddie drive before. He might be kind of ramping up, but he's got to do it now. Whoa, James Dean explodes that back bumper into that second outside zone. Now he goes into that third, dragging that RTR. Spec 5 FD bumper. He knows who he's going against. Two good friends, two fierce competitors, and six championships between these two drivers. Wow. Holy banana cakes. That was dramatic. Yo. Four, battered and bruised, but not knocked down. Freddy gets intimate with the wall. One, two, a little off that second outside zone. Now into the third outside zone. There's Frederick. He dialed in that third outside zone. That's what he's been, it's been escaping him all weekend. James kind of just slid right around. That was a... Found the limit of the car <laughs> against Asbo in the top eight. Uh, unfortunately, for the first time all weekend. I pushed a bit too hard coming down the straight. I initiated a little bit later. I just glanced the tires and touched the wall. We stayed in drift. I had to grab the handbrake under the under the bridge to extend the straight because I was so early out wide to the wall on the, on the first corner. So that really messed my lead run up. And my chase run, I gave it my best. Uh, had nice proximity everywhere. Had a big dive going into the last corner. Hard going, it was tough, but uh, I was quite happy with it, and uh, same for my top 16 battle with Stuki. It was brilliant, we went one more time. I made a couple of mistakes in my chase on the, on the first battle, and uh, tidied it up in my second. So these cars have a lot of forward grip, and uh, just feel a lot different to what I'm used to. Um, so it's getting the balance, uh, you know, between on and off throttle, which I'm learning. But overall for a first event, qualifying second, and finishing, I guess, fifth? My fifth, yeah, because I think third, I think fifth place. Can't complain with that. So huge thanks to the RTR team, AutoZone, and all of our partners for supporting and bringing me back to FD. And uh, sorry that I'm shaking again. Now it's time to relax. The last few weeks have been probably the most intense weeks of my life, just preparing for this huge challenge, and uh, not a bad first showing. So let's get some uh, rest. Enjoy the rest of the event. Cheer on Chelsea and. Uh, yeah see you at the next round so thank you very much for watching the support again has been incredible see you next time